Hi there. Thanks for showing up for your plant tour today. My name is Neil Mack. I'm one of the sales associates here at Intercept. What we're going to do today on your tour is we're going to take you out first through our production area. We're going to show you how the panels are made out in our production facility with our production team. Then from that point, we're going to go and look at our, sh our show house, which shows off a lot of the features and the benefits of using Intercept SIP panels. Then from that point, we'll go up and talk to the drafting team have them show us how they do it on the design side, how they put the panels all together so they can make your new building or new home. And then if it works out, you've got your drawings with you, we'll go and sit down in our conference room and take a look at them. Let's go get started. This is our original building that was built with SIPs back in about 1980. Now if you look off to your right, you're going to see the billets of foam. Those are made by Benchmark Foam, which is our sister company, located right here in Watertown. Now if you look behind you, you're going to see a yellow slabbing table, where we're going to take those billets of foam and slab them down to the thicknesses that we need. In front of you is the foam cutting table. Cassidy and her foam cutting team are going to go and trim the foam down to the specific sizes that we need for your job. Just to the right, you're going to see that big blue mouth machine. That's the foam grinder. Any of the drop or trimmage that they take off of the foam is going to be ground up, sent back over to Benchmark Foam, where they make that into a product called EPS 360, which is a 100% recycled content foam product. This takes us to the lamination area. This is where all the components come together to make the SIP panel. The OSB is going to ride on the roller table underneath the glue extruder where the glue is applied and at the same time a mist of water is sprayed on the panel. The OSB is set in the squaring table, then the piece of pre-cut foam is put on the panel, then the other piece of sheeting is flipped over on top to make the SIP panel. Then it's going to ride into the press where it's given a holding pressure, not a crushing pressure, just allowing that glue to, to dry and cure. Within four minutes, it's as dry as it ever will be. To your right is the end of the press. The panels are going to come down the production line then they're going to work their way through the nail house where all the structural lumber is installed. Either the thermal post, an eye joist, or foundation panels will be nailed off in this area. Now if you look behind you, you'll see our specials department. In the SIP industry, we're the only company that has that because of the level of customization that we do. In this area, they're going to make all of the unique panels, all the headers, the lowers, the angled panels. Anything that's going to slow the production line down will be built over in this little area. Now we're back in our shipping area. This is where all the panels are stored inside until they're ready to be shipped. The first time they're going to see the light of day is going to be at your work site. To your right are the numbered labeled ready to ship panels. They're going to be headed to either Wisconsin like that Holstein project that you see right there or any of the states that we operate in. We're probably most prevalent in a 12 state region around South Dakota but we've literally have shipped all over the world. Now in this area you're going to see the Hundiger automated PBA saw. This will cut the jumbo panels, both angles as well as cutting in all the door and window openings in that panel. Now if you look off to the right and you'll see those stacks of OSB board cut and labeled, those are ready for lamination in the four foot line coming up here to your left. Off in the distance you'll see Richard cutting on the uh, CNC operated panel saw where he cuts all the sheeting. He cuts it out of our jumbo board to a allow us to be able to utilize the product to its best ability, again reducing waste in all capacities. What you're looking at here is our jumbo lamination line. In this area, Kyle and his team are going to laminate the panels that are 8 foot wide and up to 24 feet long, all in continuous sheeting. They're going to be laminated here, set up, and then will be cut on the Hundigger that we looked at earlier. The board you see in front of you so shows some of our award-winning projects. Obviously, just by looking at this, you can see the broad range of different projects that we do. Everything from ag buildings to a dentist's office to a veterinarian clinic. We do all types of projects. To the right is going to be our show home. It shows our product in use. Up there, if you look up above you, it's going to show that you can either do an insulated overhang or a ladder frame or an outrigger. So there's a, it shows off some of the features and benefits of our product. Let's go inside the show home and take a look there. This takes us to our show home. This building is uh, 16 feet wide, it's 24 feet long. 
with nine foot walls and a 612 roof pitch. It's a lot bigger than it looks just because of the vaulted ceilings, which is an added feature of our SIP panels. Our normal project would have this all included, which is the wall panels, the roof panels, the ridge beam package, everything that you need to put together the product, as well as all your door and window frames are going to be cut in, framed in, bucked out, ready to accept your door or window openings. Now, if you look there in front of you on the table, there's going to be a sample of our wall panel. That's the thermal post that's going to go in tongue and groove into the next panel. It's one of the reasons why builders come back to us time and time again. Now, if you look to your right, you'll see the cross section of the panel. That's the diagonal that's cut out of that panel to your right. That shows that the house gives a full wrap of continuous insulation all the way around it. Even the best built stick frame building with spray foam doesn't compare to a SIP panel because we have continuous insulation everywhere around your structure. Also when you're looking there to your right you're going to see the electrical raceways that are at 16 inches off the floor and 44 inches off the floor and they're also vertically as each panel connects together allowing you to be able to wire the structure very easily. Then they're numbered number two, three, four, five, six to the corner 7, 8, 9, 10 to the left corner, then it comes up on the door or window rough opening. So you'll see all the way around, everything is numbered and labeled. Everything has a place and a part and a spot where it goes. This takes us to our drafting and design area. Up here, our drafters will go and take projects from either napkin sketches all the way to finished drawings or just converting over architectural drawings that were provided to us to our panelized system. Up here, the drafters will go and design it to the point where it basically looks like puzzle pieces or the components that are going to be fabricated out on the production floor that we've already seen. Well, I hope you enjoyed your plant tour that we just went on. Um, you can see that we love what we do and we do what we love. That's kind of our motto here at Intercept. Um, I even wear the badge right on my sleeve, our logo. Thanks for coming uh, on your tour. If you have a chance, send us a set of plans. We'd love to estimate it for you. Look forward to working with you. Take care.